expanding on the versatility of the SL line, I have a double shear test set up to show you how it works in double shear, meaning that the SL will be using the compression space, not the tension space. If I was only doing double shear tests, I can configure this without the top crosshead and just use the compressive space. With the compressive space that we're using here, we're using the hydraulic piston, which is a virtual friction-free piston and cylinder. While other manufacturers may put a load cell under the table, we're using the piston and cylinder to read the hydraulic pressure very accurately and very repeatably. Again, meeting your ASTM, your ISO, and GB standards throughout the world. Keep in mind that most customers are on a yearly calibration. We have a complete service department that calibrate the machines throughout the world. If you need a six month or quarterly calibration, we can enter that into our systems and have the calibration team contact you when needed. You have the ability to have this in all type of environments, whether it's out on the shop floor with uh, that dirty environment, it is built to last and withstand all those type of environments. Or it could be in a lab environment in a school or in a white glove medical uh, lab where it needs to be kept very nice, stable temperature. With this hydraulic design, it is a low pressure, meaning that we're not using high pressure and we're not getting high temperatures. This is a cooler temperature. Uh, we use a, a heavy duty oil in the piston and cylinder, which flows through here. It's a constant flow from the piston and cylinder, which once it reaches the top of the piston is diverted back to the tank and recirculated. There is a cooling fan on the system, which keeps the temperature at a, a lower temp for your longevity. I've had customers with 20 to 30 years using the same oil and no problems. This machine has the ability to do 90,000 pounds in compression. So the, the machine's versatility really comes into play when you're doing a double shear and you have the ability to have that compression space in, in 90,000 pounds. The 600 SL, which is the machine that's a step up from this, also has that ability. Instead of going to 600 kilonewtons or 120,000 pounds, you can have that machine go to 180,000 pounds in compression. Your tensile space would be 120, your compressive space would be 180,000. The double shear test is very critical in a lot of aerospace applications. Your Boeings, your Airbus, all do double shear. So now I'm gonna home the machine. As you can see, I am away from the specimen itself. I will first home the piston, which is very important to get the oil around that weighing system that we use. Once I do that, I will lower the motorized crosshead down into position. I may raise the piston up and zero it as my home position. This SL line has that ability, which is very critical in the double shear test. You'll notice it's coming up to the home position. Once it is homed, I will zero the force out, bring the crosshead down, and start my test. This crosshead has the ability to go up and down 20 inches a minute. So that's what I call a course adjustment. If I'm going 20 inches a minute, I can get it close to the part, but I don't wanna use that crosshead to get so it's touching the part because you could overload the crosshead and then you have to lower the piston down. So what I do is I bring the crosshead so it's close. Then I use the software, the Horizon software, and I feather the piston up to the part so it's close, so I'm not wasting time waiting for the two pieces to make contact. I've now moved the crosshead 0.2 inches, 0.22 inches, so I'm gonna zero that. That will be a temporary home. So if I have 10 of these parts that I have to test, I can virtually just slide them out, replace the part, slide it back in and hit go because I'm at the same spot every time. Once I have the specimen ready to go, 
I now turn to the Horizon software and start the test. Right now I'm at 13,500 pounds with this test. It will now slowly start to drop off and I will, the machine will stop automatically and return the piston and I'd be ready to start my next test. At Tinius Olson, we realized that the tooling for the double shear can be very expensive. So we've developed the software to work with the SL line that helps to protect the tooling, meaning that when you're running your stress rate at 100,000 PSI per minute up to yield, we switch from a stress rate and we, we match what the position rate is at that particular stress rate. So if you have your stress rate here, it takes a snapshot of your position rate. We switch to that position rate till the material starts to deform. Once that happens, we have a drop off in load. The software stops, returns the piston back to where you started and you're ready to run the next test. Here's an example of a, of a finished test where you can clearly see it, it sheared the specimen. It didn't damage the tooling. I'm ready to insert the next specimen and start the test over again for your productivity, repeatability, traceability.